Oh boy. It's tough being a housewife. No, I can't wait to see what happens once Le um, when I come home and La Lance Bass is like done with everything. I'm excited. If he leaves me a bigger mess to tend to the next day, I'm gonna be really fucking pissed. Watch, the house is gonna be in like all disarray. Oh, Eric. Hello. He's like, uh oh. No, 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 no. No, you are gonna talk to me, sir. Don't you try to escape me. Hello. I thought I might find you down here. What? Hello, Mr. Larson. It's nice to see you. My friend Frank said you had some snoop, I mean, shopping to do. Well, if it isn't the Sherlock Holmes of Fairview, Eric Larson, right where Frank said you would be, too. I think I'm going to say that. Oh, Eric Larson. Fancy meeting you here. I just finished having a conversation with Frank Fox about you. So I guess Frank told you about his morning meeting with the police earlier. It's nice to know that you actually have a name. I got a little tired of calling you the creepy guy down the street. Eric Larson has a much nicer ring to it. Actually, he didn't give me any details. I was hoping he could fill me in on the rest. If being interrogated by a federal agent is what you call a morning meeting, then yes, he told me some things. What did he tell you? Maybe I can fill in the blanks. All I care about is finding out why my house was broken into and if my family is in danger. He told me you're a government agent and that you sat in on the interrogation. Is he in trouble? He told me enough to make me very worried. Maybe you can tell me about Frank, like whether I should trust him. First, in my professional opinion, Frank is an upstanding kind of guy. I wouldn't worry about his integrity, and he is certainly no danger to your family. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time, but he seems to have covered his bases. And he's in full cooperation with my agency now. Full cooperation? With the ongoing investigation into my house being broken into? What does he know? Well, it's nice to know that he's not a dangerous criminal. Do you know who broke into my house? If he's no danger to my family, then why was my house burglared? Burgled? Burgled, I guess. And my computer does damage with a hunting knife. I can't really tell you anything about the case. Just rest assured that Frank Fox is no danger to you, and that his problems are about to be over as well. His problems? What about my problems? I'm the one who had their privacy violated here. Typical government answer. Lots of words, but no good information. <laughs> that is so true. So, Frank is a good guy? Then who's after him, and when are they going to be brought to justice? I'm sorry, I can't be more forthcoming with you. You'll have to just trust me on this one. Eric has some pretty enormous hands. I have been following this case for a long time. Your involvement with it is admittedly quite a surprise. But I'm confident that the case will be closed very shortly. Well, I can't be bothered to try to figure all this stuff out on my own, but I guess that's what I have to do since you're giving me the runaround. Trust you? I'm the unwitting victim of some bank scam gone wrong, and at least that's my take on it. Okay, I have very few sources of information to question what you were saying, so I guess I'll just have to trust your opinion. Um... No, I'm gonna do this. Just be careful where and whom you start snooping around. It would be a lot safer to just stay in your house and report anything out of the ordinary to the local police. Well, I'll see you around, I guess. At least I know your name now. And you tell me to be careful. It's all mixed messages with you government types. Sounds like a plan. I think I'll just go home now and see how big a mess my husband has made in the kitchen. Again, I apologize for being vague. But in time, all of this will be over. There are people watching you to keep you and your family safe. That's creepy. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Try to relax and have a good day. Yeah, okay, I'll relax. No problem. I'll just go put bars in all my windows and install an alarm system on my house now. I'll do my best. That's reassuring. Thanks for your time. Consult your therapist. What is this? Hold on. Ooh, I get to search them online. I want to go to my therapist. No, no phone call. I don't want to pick up. Hello. Are you busy? I need to talk God to damn you. it, everyone wants a piece of me. Daniel, hello, what do you want to talk to me about? Oh, hi Daniel, what's up? Hi Daniel, no, I'm not that busy, what do you have on your mind? I'd feel a lot more comfortable talking to you in person. Can you come over? Of course I can come by, I'll be over in a few hours. Can't you just tell me over the phone right now? I'm a little busy, dinner doesn't make itself, you know. Oh Daniel, just tell me now, that's what cell phones are for. I'll come by. Oh, no, I can't wait that long. Come over as soon as you can. I, I I don't mean to be pushy, but it's very important that we talk. All right, Daniel, I'll be over in a few minutes. I hope everything is okay. But, oh, yeah, I know that's fine. 
he has time to wait for me. I'm going to go see my therapist. I'm like, fuck that noise. Those are optional stories. I want to do the optional stories. Hello. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to speed it up this much. Oh, God. Good afternoon. Can I help you with something today? I'm in a bit of a rut, doctor. Can we talk right now? Well, I don't have an appointment, but I was hoping you could be able to squeeze me in today. So I guess I need a little guidance. Do you have any more time? I'm pretty confused about a few things. Do you have any more, few more minutes before your next patient? You're in luck. I just had a cancellation. What's on your mind today? Mm -hmm. Nothing really specific, I guess. It's just that I feel kind of strange about life. You know, ever since my house was broken into. Okay, where do I start? Lately, I've been feeling this overriding sense of loss ever since my house was broken into. I'm not sure how to phrase it, really. I feel pretty confused about almost every aspect of my life these days. I know this is hard for you, but can you define exactly what you're confused about? Or does it feel more like an overall sense of unease and anxiety? I'm pretty sure it stems from fe feeling violated by strangers breaking into my house, but they didn't even take anything, so I don't really know. I'm confused, plain and simple. I don't know how to feel anymore, just about anything. If I knew how I felt more clearly, I would tell you, but I don't. I get the feeling it's more than just the break-in, though. Emotions can be tricky things. In this sort of situation, it's hard to get closure. Listen, I know this will sound odd, but I recommend that you write a letter to the people who committed the act. It's obviously not for them, but I find it to be wonderfully therapeutic for my patients in these kinds of situations. Is there anything else bothering you? Well, I met this federal agent, Eric Larson, and that's been hanging around the neighborhood lately, and it's odd, but I have a sense I know him, or should know him, but I've never met him before last week. My husband made some demeaning comments to me this morning, and he did it in front of strangers. I don't even know what to think. I'm shocked and confused. He's never said anything like that before. Yes, it's hard to describe, but I had a disturbing conversation with a neighbor today. Well, there's this thing with my neighbor, Frank. He's mixed up in a bad situation, and I want to do what I can to help him. God, I feel like a mess. One problem after another. I'm usually pretty together, but I have to say that I'm surprised at my husband's insensitivity of late. Well, there is something else. More of a confusing issue than a problem. You see, there's this federal agent that I've been talking to about the break-in and other things. I just have the oddest feeling that we met somewhere before. Oh, God, what do I talk about? My husband being an asshole, me talking to Frank, or what's the other deal? Um... Or Eric Larson. Uh, I'll talk about my memories. Have you talked about this with him? I ran into him downtown. We talked for quite a bit. I was tempted to look up his name on the internet, but I didn't because that would be silly, wouldn't it? Frank Fox told me about him. I met him downtown just one time. We talked for a bit, but I can't stop thinking about him. I did talk to him. That's what's so strange. He didn't give me any real information. It's not that I don't trust him, but there's something strange all the same. What makes you feel so strange about him? Did he say something odd or overly familiar to you? It wasn't anything he said. It's just that sense that he knows more than he's letting on. I'm not sure what it is, but I think he's hiding something from me. I can't put a finger on it, though. Well, he works for the government, so it probably comes with the territory. Was there anything else on your mind? God, I feel like a mess. So insensitivity of husband and Frank. Talk about my husband. Did he say something specific? Yes. I don't recall my exact words. I just remember I was embarrassed and angry and couldn't believe he said those things. Yes, out of nowhere, he started insinuating that I'm lazy, sitting around the house loafing all day. I was furious. I told him to stay home and keep, try to keep the house in order. I was pretty ticked off, actually. He made an offhand remark in front of the police about me just loafing around all day. I must say, I think you handled that very well. I'm sure he got the not-so-subtle hint. Is there something else you wanted to ask me? Yeah, Frank. Unless it deals with you personally, try not to let it affect you. It's important not to project other people's problems onto ourselves. That's pretty true. We have to let go of things that we have no control over and just try to remain positive. Okay, it all sounds fine and reasonable when you say it, but I don't know how to make it better. Thank you, Doctor. That sounds like sage advice. It's pretty hard to remember that sort of thing when you're in the middle of a situation, but I'll try. Well, I hope that it helps. Is there anything else you wanted to ask Thanks, me? Thanks, Doctor. I think I have enough information to digest and process. Goodbye. Seduce your husband? Seduce your husband? For being a jackass to me? Deutsch. I'm sorry. Um, I actually shouldn't say that because um, Deutsch is German. Like, it actually means German in German. And, um, 
It's something that me and my friends say. Like, it, I think someone was drunk and it just came out one day. Like, instead of saying, like, oh, you're a douche. Um. <laughs> instead of being like, oh, you douche. Like, it came out, oh, you deutsch. Or you deutsch? I forgot what it exactly it was. But, like, it's just something that we started saying, like, over and over again since then. I'm sorry, Daniel. You're the last on my list right now. I'm gonna search the internet and then I'll seduce my fucking stupid husband. What did I get? Free salon facial. I'm good. I, I'm on and off about liking facials. Um, let's browse the web and look up Eric Larson. Larson. Federal Investigation Bureau. Personal web space. I need a password? I can't, is it my name? Nostalgia. Damn it. Okay. Um. Here's Eric Larson. So apparently he was on the football team. I don't know what that has to do with anything, though. I'm not quite sure what to do with this information. Aww. He has cats? That's so cute. He has a cat named Panther. That's... Maybe his... Ooh. Panther. Oh my god! <laughs> His cat's name was the password! <laughs> oh my god, Panther was the password! He, His password is his pet! That's so adorable! Alright, let's see. Oh god, oh, as most of you know, I've been put on an assignment in a small town working on an interesting embezzlement case. Um, do, 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 do. I think I've located an old friend. For those of you who knew me back in Nebraska. Panther and my other cat Boomer. He's a cat person. That's so funny. Aww. Alright, so I think I know all about Eric now. That's so funny. I cannot believe that. How's the house? Wow, look at you. You actually cleaned everything? Damn, homie. Hi, honey. How's your day going? You know, I find myself with a lot more energy today since I don't have any of the household chores. Great, it's been a little mini vacation. No responsibility, no chores. I guess it's going alright. I was going to ask you the same question. You should have seen me rubbing those stains out of the shower. I was soaked in sweat by the end. Well, now you know it's hard work to keep a house looking nice and clean. I told you it was going to be hard. Well, I did warn you that it was going to be hard. Hard, get it? Hard. Maybe I should just go upstairs and lie down for a bit. Do you need me to show you how I clean up? What? That's not sexy. Maybe it was just your technique. I use a circular motion for optimal effect. Jesus. Cool your jets, Casanova. You have more cooking and cleaning to do, and I have to run errands. Bye. If you're trying to have your way with me, it's working. I'm just teasing you, sweetie. I actually have other things I need to take care of now. Thanks anyway. Bye. Mmm, now that you get the hint, go upstairs and get out of those clothes. Yeah, sure, let's reward him. I don't get rewarded. Oh no! Oh, those shoes! <laughs> okay, maybe heels would have been a sexier choice. Not even a thank you, you asshole. I mean, he did clean the house, but I mean, I do that every single fucking day as a housewife. He's actually cleaning! This blows my mind! Anyways... It's... It's not always hard to be a housewife, but it's not always easy either, like... It's actually really true though, like, every single time that I clean, which I usually try to clean a little bit every single day, I usually go apeshit on the weekends though, but next day, it's just as fucking messy. What is this? 
Ooh, cooking contest. Contest reward? I won? A second prize. Bree, damn it. Well, let's make the fudge. I really want to make the fudge right now. Because I got the fudge, and all I need to make is the chili, and I have no idea how I'm going to manage that. Do I have to steal it from Mike's house? How the fuck do I get his chili? I really want his chili. Whatever. All right, preheat oven to 300. Hmm. What is this? Okay, um, let's preheat the oven first, 300. Oops, missed it. Oops, fuck, retry, that was terrible. I think I lost track of what I was doing. There we go. Preheat to 300. I can talk, no worries. Maybe I should have preheated last. Alright, stirring, stirring, stirring. No, I'll have plenty of time, I think. I want to make fudge. Actually, to be honest, I don't even like fudge. <laughs> My cat's talking to me. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Sam, are you hungry? You look hungry. Are you hungry? Fucker? He knows I'm recording. Otherwise, he'd answer back. Wow. You're douche. You're deutsch. Again, I'm not making fun of German people. <laughs> I promise. Germans are awesome. Yes! I love it! I love that I have this! Now how do I get the chili? Oh, 